it's going to be another story time in my boudoir, but from a different angle. It's been a while since I've done a vlog here on YouTube for many different reasons. I've been quite busy and also a lot have been happening behind the scenes and stuff. So I thought today I'm going to do a story time because it's a really important issue and it has made me so frustrated and so annoyed and so angry. I thought I'm going to open it up to you guys and I want you to comment below whether you've had a similar sort of incident as a guide dog owner. Now I've been a guide dog owner for over 17 years and I haven't really had too many issues with dog on dog attacks. Now this is a growing issue that uh, guide dogs are being attacked by other dogs. Uh, it is one of these things where I, I just feel so compelled and so like I need to speak to you guys about it because it's an issue that is obviously rising and something needs to be done about it because there are so many people out there whose dogs have had to be retired because another dog has attacked them while working and it is serious. It's someone's independence, it's someone's freedom and people need to take responsibility of their dogs and ensure that their dogs are on leads when walking through streets or anywhere where people are going to be for their own safety as well as others. Now this brings me on to why I'm doing a story time and why I'm talking about the issue of dog attacks on guide dogs. So I was walking back from the old town in Stevenage where I live after going to the shop to get a few items and I was coming through a local area, a park where I free run Marty quite often and he was on harness and lead and a friend came up and said who they were, which is always helpful, and said that there are two dogs off lead just to be aware. So I stood there chatting and it was really helpful to get the heads up, quite honestly, because, you know, it's always good to know what's around, who's around, and especially dogs when off lead. So we sat there and the next thing, it was just horrific. The sound of another dog attacking my guide dog. And in that split second, you have to make the right choice for you and for the dog and for the safety of both of you. So I let the harness go, I let the lead go. And there I was, standing there, totally vulnerable, not knowing what was happening. And I needed my dog to be able to defend himself against this other dog. And my friend, who was actually passing through, which is quite a miracle, to be honest, that she would be there. And she was trying to distract the dog that was attacking my guide dog to get him out of the way. There was a second dog, but that had gone. And I don't know where that dog had gone. It was just the one dog that was, unfortunately, making itself known to my dog. So Marty was quite terrified, but he did try to defend himself and me, I think, for what it's worth. So after all this commotion happened, the dog ran off because it was being shooed away by, by my friend who was passing. And I was left so shocked, so upset because I've only had a few incidences in my 17 years of working a guide dog where my dog has been attacked. And it still shakes you up. It still is terrifying to know that this sort of thing is on the rise. That so many guide dogs each month are attacked by people simply not having their dogs on lead or they're not in control of their dog. So after this incident, I made sure that Marty was okay I gave him a full body check from head to tail to make sure that he didn't have any punchy wounds, that there were no obvious signs that anything was, you know, he was injured in any way. 
And thank goodness he wasn't. I couldn't find anything. All I found was wet slobber from the other dog around his ears, around his neck, and around his face. And I was so relieved because these sorts of things can have a detrimental effect on a dog. Now, just because he didn't have any obvious physical signs, psychologically, I've now got to wait and see if Marty reacts to dogs out and about when working on harness. And how am I going to know that there's another dog around? Well, time will only tell. So guys, I'm speaking to the few because the majority of people are very responsible. The majority of people have their dogs on lead the dog's safety as well as their own. But there are a few people out there, a small minority, who clearly don't think the law applies to them. Clearly they think that their dog is well trained, that of course they're not gonna run. But dogs can be spooked, dogs can have different reactions. And I'm just speaking as a guide dog owner of 17 years and I've, witnessed some really awful incidences with dogs and I've had friends who've had dogs attacked and I know that it does go on so I'm just really really hoping please share the message please make sure your dogs are securely on leads please make sure that you have a gate if you have a gate shut it or if you open the front door to a postman or to a delivery person, whoever it may be, friend, relative, coming to visit, make sure your dogs are securely in because it's easy. I know that dogs do get out, they can escape. It's like Houdini. <laughs> but this is a really serious point. It's so severe that people like me could have their independence ripped away from them just because someone hasn't got their dog un under control, whether it's on the lead or off a lead. So I'm just really kind of throwing it out to you guys. Please share the message. Please make sure that you have your dogs securely in. And if you answer the door, make sure the dogs are gonna be behind a door or behind a, a dog gate, because it could have gone the other way for me. It really could have been so damaging to Marty that he might not have wanted to work again and there might be still psychological issues that I'm not aware of so it's not just a, a passing whim that a dog has just jumped on Marty or tried to grab his neck it's a long-lasting effect so I'm gonna have to work really hard now when I hear a dog to distract Marty to encourage him forward to give him lots of praise and give him treats and I think that's the way forward for me and Marty everyone's an individual everyone's different but if you do have these incidences I I think it's really important to raise raise it and, and let guide dogs know that this incident has happened so they can keep a record of it because these things are really really serious anyway these have been my rambles if you've liked what you've seen, click like. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and definitely hit the notification bell. So when I upload new content, you'll be the first to know. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll be back soon. Take care.